St. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 For this shall be great tribulation Such was not since the beginning of the world Till this time No, nor ever shall be And except those days should be shortened There shall no flesh be saved But for the elect's sake Those days shall be shortened First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God's so people here for a bit. For the elect's sake, that's what it's always been about. The elect of the nation of Israel he gave them hope he gave them faith he gave them grace all hell breaking loose it's going down it's gonna get bad worse than it ever been Lord said I'm gonna speed up time though I'm gonna deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Lord willing, we're of that number. Lord said, I'm destroying two-thirds of my own people. But I'm going to save, aka deliver, redeem the elect of the nation of Israel. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. It's, it's full of suspense. You look, you, you just don't know what's going to happen from day to day, from hour to hour, from month to month. But one thing we do know, the elect will be saved. St. Matthew 24, 21. For there shall be great tribulation. Such was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No nor ever shall be. The Lord says it's going to get so bad out here. Hey, look, it ain't never got this bad before. The Lord said, look, it ain't never got this bad before. No, look, enough tribulation. Enough tribulation. You got people saying, look, ain't nothing coming. Nothing but peace. Harmony. But then the Lord said, look, tribulation, such was not ever See on the face of the earth is coming. Trouble, a cause of great trouble or suffering is coming. That's what's coming. Afflictions, ordeal, adversity. That's what's coming. Look, the, the Lord, this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus. He look, he said these things are gonna have to come. He said these things are going to have to come, but then he also said, don't worry about it, though. You know, don't, don't you fear it. You serving me. A whole lot of difficulty is coming. A whole lot of suffering. A whole lot of misery. Distress. Woe. Woe, which means destruction. All, all that's coming, right? And except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved Because this devil going to come down with great wrath Sparing none Slaying early, old, and young Right? There shall no flesh be saved If these days don't get shortened If the Lord don't hurry up and speed up time And hurry up and come Look, but For the elect's sake those days shall be short. The elect's sake, man. For the elect's sake, those days shall be short. Can't, look, can't stress that enough. Look, definition for the word elect. Choose someone. Pick, select, appoint. You know? A person chosen or singled out. 
a person chosen or singled out for the elect's sake that person that is chosen is going to be delivered out of all that tribulation out of all that hell which is a condition played out on earth look, look believe in the process right let's get this amos it's, it's all about the elect's sake right amos chapter 9 verse 8 behold the eyes of the Lord power which are the angels are upon the central kingdom aka America and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob aka the elect of the nation of Israel the Lord said look I won't utterly destroy the house of Jacob remember for the elect's sake Said the Lord, Yahweh by Shin Yahweh the Lord, look, the Lord said this. The Lord said, Look, look, I'm, I'm gonna destroy Babylon, that central kingdom, but I'm gonna deliver the elect of the house of Israel. Believe in the do, look, do you believe that though? Do you believe that? Look, can't, can't make you believe anything. Do you believe? Do you believe, man? It, 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 so it's a beautiful story. You, anytime you watch a horror movie or a suspense or an action movie, you, you, you see how it goes down. But look, we gotta trust in the process, though. As soon as I woke up this morning, man, and, then, and, it, and it's early, the Lord said, Look, the elect's sake. <laughs> Soon as I woke up, the elect's sake. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the care of them is with the Most High. Look, the Most High care. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai cares for the elect. If don't nobody else care about you on the face of the earth, you can best believe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai do. He got the angels kept around about you. Because you fear him. Remember, remember, we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? I got to read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 5. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom, the elect, right? And a beautiful crown. But they're gonna have to suffer. Remember, Lord Yahweh said, you know what I'm saying? What the Heavenly Father said in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, if you want to become joint heirs with my only begotten son, then you're gonna to have to suffer. But I'm gonna deliver you from it, right? And the suffering is but for a moment, remember? The affliction is but for a moment. The light affliction is but for a moment. It says, therefore, shall they rejoice. So like it, therefore, shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. Look, the same thing that Ezra seen. He marveled. He marveled at the men that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He marveled at it, man. And a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, from from, look, from Lord Yahweh Shai's hand, the elect of the nation of Israel, that 144, the 144,000 Israelite men, the prophets, which consists of Negro, Latino, and Native American Indians, they're going to receive a glorious crown, a glorious crown, man, a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, for with his right hand. Shall he cover them? Remember, for the elect's sake, those days should be short. And with his arm, shall he protect them? Yet yeah, all hell breaking loose. The Lord said he's going to protect the, the, the elect of the nation of Israel. Look, tr look, trust in the process. Trust in the process. The Lord, the Lord is making it go down. You know? Uh, man, it, it, it's beautiful, man. It's, it, it, it is beautiful, man. 
this, this story is beautiful, the elect say. St. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh avenge his own elect, hand picked, selected, selected, chosen, best of its kind. That's what the elect represent out of the nation of Israel, you know, the first fruits. And shall not Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him. Though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. The Lord said he's going to avenge his elect speedily. We must trust in the process, that's all. See, look, have patience. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is teaching us patience for real, for real. The Lord is teaching us to trust in the process. Look, we're, we're on the Lord's time anyway. But one thing about the Lord, He's never late. You know, you know one thing about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Israel, he, he, never late. Not once, ne never late. Not once, always on time. You know, when you look, when you least expect it, here, here, there you go. Every look, it ceases to never fail every time. Saint John 17 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them, aka the elect of the nation of Israel. Look, Lord Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus, is praying for the elect of the nation of Israel. And look, the Lord is not praying for two thirds. That's why, yeah, the elect of the nation of Israel, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, we're catching our hell. But two thirds, they're catching per hell. And then on top of that, the Lord is not even praying for them, man. You know? Look, they, the two thirds are pretty much assed out, man. You know, they're going to take Maxine Waters. They're going to take Crown Royal. They're going to take the RFID chip, which is the marketed beast. Because they don't trust in the process of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They don't. They don't, man. We're putting all our marbles, all the chips, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Hmm? Let's jump down. Same chapter. St. John 17, 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. Meaning these bad times. We're going to be dead in the midst. And we're going to go through some things. You can believe that. You know? We're going to show enough, go through some things. But the Lord is going to be showing up protecting us from those evils, man. From those bad times. Right? I, I, want, to get, I want to get this Romans right quick because I quoted it. Just flowing through the spirit of your house. Bush him out shot early in the morning, man. This is the first thing I thought about when I woke up this morning. This is Romans chapter 8. I started 16. The spirit... The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And of children and heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. You want that glorious crown? You want that beautiful crown? Then you got to suffer. Just like the Lord did, you know? For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, you might have to go a couple of days without food. Might have to go a couple of days, you know what I'm saying, without a, a, um, a resting place. Might have to get beat. Go through some torture. Catch some hell. 
That's all part of the suffering, right? Lose your job, lose your woman, lose your family. Damn near lose your life. Remember, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Trust in the process, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And Lord willing, we're part of that number. Lord willing, we're part of that number, Israel. It's a it's a beautiful story, nonetheless. You know, look, once again, the story is full of suspense. I mean, you never know what's going to happen from, from minute to minute, hour to hour. Look, we trust in the process, though. We trust that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can do all things. You know? And then on top of that, the Lord don't make no mistakes. You know? Yeah, the, look, the Lord don't make no mistakes. So he said, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, man. Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything too hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Do you ask yourself that? It ain't nothing too hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Nothing at all. It ain't nothing too hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We, 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 look, we constantly got to be going through this over and over in your mind. There's nothing too hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. We learned from the story of Daniel. You know? We learned, we learned something from the story of Meshach, Abednego, and Shamrach. We learned something from the story of Noah. We learned something from the story you, you supposed to have. We learned something from the story of Moses. The, look, part in that sea through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all that was written for our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, right? Right? Let's get this. Sarah. Chapter 36. Let's see. Um, 15. Give testimony unto those that has possessed. Let's look, look, like it. Give testimony unto those that thou has possessed from the beginning. Give them the spirit of prophecy, right? That's the testimony, right? And raise up prophets that have been in thy name, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee. Look, look, it's all about waiting, right? It's that it's that waiting game, right? Shall, shall he find faith on the earth? Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful, and let thy prophets that were 44,000 and let thy prophets be found faithful and that multitude that one third that multitude that remnant let them be found faithful man trust in the process Israel look look, you, you can't beat that Lord Yahweh Shai said I pray for them I pray for the elect of the nation of Israel look, look I'm not praying for the world you know and if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. We speak it exactly according to this word. Exactly according to this word. I got two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up, man. It, it, it's just beautiful, man. Going right back to Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. And remember, these words are faithful and true. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. We we'll start at 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. See, we put our trust, we put our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore, we understand the truth, right? Therefore, we understand the truth. And such as be faithful, faithful, gotta have faith, right? And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy. Is to his saints 
and he hath care for his elect, and he hath care for his elect, man. That chosen. Remember the best of his kind, the ones that are singled out. It's a it's a it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful process, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, Look, I care for his elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. They understand the truth, man. You know? But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord, man. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture is miserable. And their hope is vain. Their labors unfruitful. And their works unprofitable, man. Look, look. He have care for his elect. And I got one more. And we'll, and we'll wrap it up. I got one more. And we'll wrap it up, man. The Lord said he have care for his elect, man. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures look because we're going to have to suffer now right but the scriptures are comforting us through the whole process that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope what gives us hope the scriptures man all right nothing else the scriptures remember the knowledge wisdom understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure the elect's sake shall want